for years I composed music. Then suddenly I decided to write books instead. People ask why, I can't tell because there's nothing to say about either the music or the books. I hate talking about myself. I've got nothing to say. Always, without formulating the concept, I had based my sense of being in the world partly on an unreasoned conviction that certain areas of the Earth's surface contained more magic than others. Had anyone asked me what I meant by magic, I should probably have defined the word by calling it a secret connection between the world of nature and the consciousness of man a hidden but direct passage which bypassed the mind. A stranger, I've lived here 59 years and I'm still a tourist. A lot of people think of me as a tourist, and I think really uh, I have to be considered that, although I am officially a resident. But unless one, unless one is or becomes a Muslim here, one is always an outsider. And uh, so I'm always referred to as a Nisrani even though I'm not <laughs> officially a Christian. It's very difficult to become an uh, intimate friend of an uh, individual here. One can uh, appreciate the people uh, en masse uh, as a group. A foreigner, or let's say a tourist, uh, doesn't really know how to approach a uh, Moroccan because their basic thought is, is completely different. Different, they, they, they place importance upon different things. So the whole point is to accept and continue to accept no matter what happens. Because one is really studying the people and uh, one is in the position of a public looking at the stage, and on the stage are the people of the other culture, the other civilization. I remember once in 1934, I was in Marrakesh, and I wanted to go to Taradant. So I went to a garage which was near the Jamafna, from which I saw many buses leaving, and I asked the man in charge, Bonjour. Est-ce qu'il y a des cars pour Tarodance? Zero dance. Le bus là-bas, Daniel. Quand est-ce que ça part? Demain matin, à 6h30. D'où? À 6h30, hein? À 6h30, je ne vais pas oublier, mais d'où? Ici même. Ici? Ici même. Oui, demain matin. Bon. Merci bien. D'accord. Next morning, I got up very early and took my luggage from the hotel to the garage. Well, it was shut. There was no one around. And I waited and I waited and it remained shut. Seven, it was shut. And uh, about eight o'clock, the same man that I had spoken with the day before arrived. Hey. Hey.
ציפוי לקו. כן, קו. לקו פה עכשיו, הבנתי. אני יודע. אני עבד פוסל את זה. יא בומם ומרדיף ירא הקר, עשי זית מי די סי. אה, זה בום יא פריזיר. not to believe whatever anything anyone tells you because it might be wrong especially if you're asking for information because generally uh, no Moroccan likes to say he doesn't know also he doesn't want to say there's no such thing if you're asking for a bus he, he will say well he wants a bus so I'll tell him there is one that'll make him happy if he says there isn't any you might be angry <laughs> I suppose one needs to count on the uh, eventual dissolution of our uh, European civilization, which will be taken over by we don't know whom. But whoever takes over, uh, we must be prepared for this, uh, understand a little how the mind works. I assume that it will have something to do with the continent of Africa. And since Tangier is the front door of Africa, and of course the other side is the back door of Europe, uh, things will happen and one will be conscious of that here. So one is well placed here in Tangier to, to watch whatever's going to happen. Well, I shan't see it, but others will. I did not choose to live in Tangier permanently. It happened. My visit was meant to be of short duration. After that, I would move on and keep moving on indefinitely. I grew lazy and put off departure. Then a day came when I realized with a shock that not only did the world have many more people than it had had only a short time before, but also that the hotels were less good, travel less comfortable, and places in general much less beautiful. After that, when I went somewhere else, I immediately longed to be back in Tangier.
esas cartas, Pablo, hay algo muy interesante? No. Nada. No lo creo. Tal vez hay un cheque, quién sabe. Ah, el cheque, cheque es muy importante. Siempre ¿no? es interesante. Pues tienes que buscarlo enseguida. Muy pronto. <laughs> Para mandar a la Ross, if I'm here now, it is only because I was still here when I realized to what an extent the world had worsened and that I no longer wanted to travel. In defense of the city, I can say that so far, it has been touched by fewer of the negative aspects of contemporary civilization than most cities of its size. More important than that, I relish the idea that in the night, all around me in my sleep, Sorcery is burrowing its invisible tunnels in every direction, from thousands of senders to thousands of unsuspecting recipients. Spells are being cast. Poison is running its course. Souls are being dispossessed of parasitic pseudo-consciousnesses that lurk in the unguarded recesses of the mind. There is drumming out there most nights. It never awakens me. I hear the drums and incorporate them into my dream, like the nightly cries of the Muslims. Even if in the dream I am in New York, the first Allah Akbar effaces the backdrop and carries whatever comes next to North Africa, and the dream goes on. Moi, je dois dire, je n'ai pas envie de retourner aux États-Unis parce que ce n'est pas un pays qui, qui vaut la peine de revoir. De temps en temps, je suis rentré plusieurs fois depuis que je vis ici, enfin, dix fois peut-être. Maintenant, c'est un endroit infect, invivable. Pour moi, tout le monde que je connaissais est mort. Je n'ai pas de famille, absolument personne. Parce que j'étais fils unique, et j'avais des cousins, mais eux aussi, ils étaient fils uniques. Alors personne n'a des enfants, et tout le monde est mort. Tant mieux. Comme ça, je ne suis pas obligé d'y aller. Je préfère ici, c'est beaucoup plus beau. C'est plus propre. Je ne dis pas, je suis satisfait, je suis résigné, oui, mais il faut être résigné. say Moroccan music, I mean really the music of the country. In 1959, I got a grant from the Rockefeller Foundation. So I just decided to start work, and I did. And it was going to be uh, divided into four separate uh, trips. to let me record. They didn't like the idea of Moroccan music being recorded at all, and uh, told me, no, 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 if you record music in that village, it's going to sound like savages, and that we can't allow you to export that and tell people that it's from Morocco, because everyone's going to say Morocco is a country of savages. 
I said, no, not at all. It's very good music. No, no, no. <laughs> and uh, sometimes they forbade me to record anything. I remember I talked to people and they said, I said, well, I'm going to a place called Al Hajab. And they said, no, how can you? There's nothing there. I said, what do you mean? He said, there are no people. I said, of course there are. And he said, oh, but they don't count. They're uh, simple country people. They don't know anything. You can't record that. Well, that was the idea that people had about of their own country. changed at all my uh, approach to musical composition and of course it hadn't it couldn't the two musics are far too different from each other there's no possible way of, of uh, combining them so it was for me it was simply a pleasure to record things that I knew would not be available for long I saved quite a lot of wonderful music from oblivion fortunately for the music of Morocco, the past of the country has been one in which the great majority of the people were uh, illiterate. Therefore, they did not write out their uh, stories or their poems and so on. They learned them by heart, often sang them or danced even to them. And that is really a great help for the music today. Another two or three decades, it would be very hard to find someone who can't read or write. And uh, that, when they, if they were to give their texts, I think you'd find them very different because they have reference. It all has to come directly from his memory and imagination. <laughs> كيورك على واحد المخداه كيشد عينو شوية شوية كينود الهوا كيصوت مليح والرعاد البراق الشا واحد شويش كيجي واحد الطير كحال كبير من الطاقة وكيزقي عليه وكيقول له اعتقني اعتقني الشاب كيفتح عينو وكيمشي من واحد الزلافة وكيسيب له واحد الكورة كيقول له تزيد كيقول له لا نودي الله في حنا الشاب كيجلس له على رجله وديك الطير كيطير In the early 1950s I used to go every morning with Ahmed uh, Yacoubi to a part of the beach far out where nobody ever came well this was a long time ago and now there's no part of the beach where nobody goes today. and I have, have a notebook with me and we would lie in the sun and uh, Jacobi recounted stories. They were generally very funny. Oh, he was particularly good uh, after he'd had uh, smoked keef, and the stories were funnier. So as he spoke, I would translate them into English as fast as I could, and I enjoyed doing that. Jane was ill, so I couldn't work. I mean, I couldn't write my own material because I needed isolation, quiet, but she uh, needed me every half hour. So I gave up trying to write, but I, I did want to work every day, so I worked on these translations. And it took all my time. And then I met uh, Mohammed Mrabat, and he began telling stories. They weren't meant to be funny, and they weren't meant to be true either. They were inventions. 
توصلوا ان واحد الجبل جا في وسط البحار وقف عليه قال له هود راهو ما كيتسنى واكل تحت الشاب هود ديك الجبال وجبر واحد الشيباني وقف وجلسوا بعد عملوا له يا تاي شرب تاي واحد البنت هي اللي مقابلهم الولد بدا كيشوف ديك البنت والبنت كتشوف فيه جا الشيباني قال لي الولد عجبتك البنت قال له يا محسونه وسول البنت قال له بنتي عجبك الولد قالت له يا هلو دابا قال له مشي جيب الريقالو ديالك مشى مشات وجابت الريقالو ديالها واحد الجوهار وعتاتو لو عملو في عنقو وسلم عليهم وطلع بحالو وقال له ما انا ماشي نرجع قريب وجلس على الرجلين ديال ديك الطاير والطاير طار الساعة ديك الولد اللي فتح عينو مخلوع وحنا على عنقو وكيجبر ديك الجوهار معلق حقيقي في عنقو قال هادشي كخيالي هادشي كيظهر صحيح النهار اللي نكون راجع ماشي نعاود بالمنامة وماشي ندي في يدي الهدية ديالي Well, it isn't doing any more stories at the moment, no. However, he's published uh, ten volumes already, so uh, he doesn't need to work anymore. Ever since <clears throat> I started uh, publishing the, the translations of Moroccan texts, it has annoyed me <coughs> because the critics don't seem to know the difference between my own texts and the translated ones. And uh, I see a, a great difference between them. And that, I must say, that annoyed me very much until I began to see that I was changing my own style and making it rather more like a translation. So I think uh, I'm pleased with that because I think it uh, simplified my writing. Now, can we do other things? حقيقية تقدر تكون خيالية. The Moroccans claim that full participation in life demands the regular contemplation of death. I agree without reserve. Unfortunately, I am unable to conceive of my own death without setting it in the far more terrible mise en scène of old age. <laughs> Ah, there I am without teeth, unable to move, wholly dependent upon someone whom I pay to take care of me, and who at any moment may go out of the room and never return. Bueno, Paul, hasta mañana. Bueno. Y pasaré por la, por la mañana, inshallah. Ojalá que te vas a sentir mejor. Que pases buena noche. Gracias. Igualmente. Goodbye says the dying man to the mirror they hold in front of him. We won't be seeing each other anymore. When I quoted Valerie's epigram in the sheltering sky, it seemed a poignant bit of fantasy. Now I no longer imagine myself as an onlooker at the scene, but instead as the principal protagonist. It strikes me as repugnant to make it right the dying man would have to add two words to his farewell, and they are, thank God. For a long time, I've had this particular nightmare, that of seeing my luggage go off on the train 
remaining on the platform. But I think how much worse it would be if my body were on the train and my luggage on the platform, the train started up, and I wouldn't be able to stay behind in Tangier because I want to stay here. My determination is to stay where I am, that is to say, in Morocco.